Now, an Essex man has gone back to his day job delivering milk after a year and a half of the pandemic hitting his business. Paul Luke had to let go of his customers as he struggled to make ends meet. But now trade has picked up and he's back on the road delivering in South Essex once again. Stuart Woodward joined him on his morning round. A throwback to a bygone era, this 1950s float is taking Paul and his milk bottles back out in the South Essex community in style. Today marks the end of a difficult 18 months for Paul after the pandemic and cost of living crisis hit his business, meaning he had to sell off his customer base. Everyone was looking at their weekly spends and they were prioritising really and we probably started to get looked at as to whether we were priority or not really. Obviously I spent five years building the business so it was quite heart-wrenching really um, but everything was spiralling out of control cost-wise. 18 months on, Paul's back on the road again and he's been reunited with an old friend, a 65-year-old milk float that he used to own before selling it to a friend. This float, 1959, there are probably about 10 left in existence of this particular model. So I spoke to the family and said, look, whatever condition it's in, don't scrap it. And um, started a sort of labour of love to restore it, really. It's not a job for the faint-hearted. Paul's first delivery this morning was half past midnight, but he's clearly passionate. So much so that over the years, he's amassed a collection of 20,000 milk bottles. It just went from about nine on my mum and dad's sideboard in the kitchen to about 15. Then I purchased my own shed to display them and every local milkman was dropping off empties uh, as well as full bottles and they would come back from all over the country when people went on holiday so i just kept kept all the bottles and then that branched off into foil caps from the milk bottles and carbol caps from the wartime milk bottles and there's a lot of essex bottles that uh, dairies uh, really close to my heart and you know the old ones from about 1850 anything to do with milk really as well as the nostalgia, Paul says these glass bottles have helped to create a growing demand for a more sustainable way of delivering milk. There's been dairy companies all over the UK that have gone from nothing to building up you know, rounds of tens of thousands of customers. So yeah, definitely it's, it's um, had a big resurgence. Yeah. With customers from Billericay right down to Grays, there's certainly enough to keep Paul busy as he gets his business back afloat once again. Stuart Woodward, BBC Look East.